meanwhile, elsewhere in another nowhere, there are Super Final Wars' friends by the name of King of Hertha 3, Zilla 1000, Super Burning Godzilla, Dark Dragon, Super Godzilla Earth, and his girlfriend, Elsa. They were still trapped in stone. But at least they were communicating with each other with their brains. Well, at least we have each other, guys. That still ain't good enough, Zilla 2000. What do you mean, Kieran? to three? Where's... I don't know how long it's been. Or what in the name of Dragon in history is going on out there. I have no idea what's going on out there at all. We can't move. We can't even friggin' eat. And we made a rule that we can't even think about food. Because if we do, we're gonna end up trying to... Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, maybe try to get ourselves out of here, but end up killing ourselves in the process. <sighs> well, there's got to be a way out. We got to get out of here. We can't, guys. We're just trapped in here. Yeah, Super Burning Gods is right. We're just trapped in here. And the only way for us to get out of this mess is if Super Final Wars wakes up and comes over here and wakes us and takes this stupid spell off of us. So until then, we're just stuck here. I hate being stoned. You said it, Ziltazen. You said it. Uh, really, there was a way for us to actually get out of here. I mean, good lord, what, what are we supposed to do? Well, we could play a spy. At least we can sort of look around at our environment and just guess what it is. Eh, uh, I guess so. Alright, you go first, Super Godzilla Earth. Um, okay, uh, let me think. Uh, oh, I know. I spy with my little eye something furry. Sheep. Oh, come on! How is that so easy? Because there's literally a herd of sheep standing right in front of us. And my god, those sheep are making me hungry. Ugh. I just want to break out of here and eat them all. Same here, Elsa. Same here. I just want to eat every single one of them. Uh, super Final Wars, help! Alright, you go next, Siltazen. Okay, um, let me see. Uh. Back with Super Final Wars. He and the others were basically talking about the Fire Emuki. So, what's this Fire Emuki guy all about, Super Final Wars? He is a fo he is a serpent who pledged his leadership well his legions to Baraki, you know, the evil twisted one. Oh uh, yeah. So he pledged his legions to Baraki. So, yeah. 
and the fire emoji has ever since he saw Barack he died the fire emoji decided that he will continue on his master's plans and what are his plans basically become the most powerful celestial dragon in existence powerful enough to conquer the whole world Oh. And he needs to get a certain power source to be able to transform into a dragon. Because in his current state, he can't conquer the world. So, I, I wanted to stop him, but I had to help the Celestial Dragon to defeat Baraki. So, yeah, that's the fire emoji. When you said his goal is to basically become the most powerful celestial dragon, yeah, sort of. That's basically his goal. And he won't stop until he get what he wants. So... We need to find the power source that that well that the fire movie is looking for, so that way he won't continue on his master's plans. So should we help you? If you want, yeah, but you'll have to uh, follow what I say because. You guys don't know the fire emoji like I do. Oh, are you two like rivals or something? Yeah, we're rivals. He's my rival and I'm his rival. This whole rivalry thing has been going on for quite a long time. How long? Well, about as long as before I went to sleep for 900 years, so pretty long, pretty long. And it all started when the fire emoji pledged his allegiance to Baraki. Now that's just messed up. Alright then, I guess we will start packing. While everyone was leaving, two farmers noticed something that was going on between something he didn't like. And that was Ruby and Weiss. He saw how close they were walking together. And that was something he was not liking. 
Hey, you, um, crow. My name's Crow. Oh, Super Fire Horse? What's going on between those two over there? Oh, Ruby and Weiss? Well, for starters, Ruby's my niece. But, um, uh, wait, why are you asking? Are they in a relationship or something? Sir Flowers knew that Ruby had no rela had a relationship, but how the way the two were Ruby and wife were walking close together there was something that was making Sir Flowers a little uncomfortable. Um, no, th those two are not in a relationship. But they do act like they are in a relationship. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Wait, do you have a crush on my niece? No. Even if I did, you'd probably get mad at me. Well, not really, because you're in a movie and... And a movie can basically have any girl in his desire, but I never imagined you of all like you falling in love with a human being. But I, I, I won't tell anyone, I swear, I won't tell anyone. You swear? I swear. I I have a crush on your knees. But, um, do you have a problem with gay relationships, or I don't like gay relationships. I literally do not like them. Plus, they make me feel uncomfortable. Oh, okay. The last person I hang out, he made me so uncomfortable that I just had to leave him. Oh, um, what do you tend to do? Hmm. To do something. Probably something that Weiss has not seen before or might be pretty shocked. Oh, Crow wasn't looking, so far as looked at him. And he remembered something that Weiss mentioned her older sister. He didn't then summoned his tail and grab her. Yang. Hey, Yang? Yeah? Who is Weiss's sister, exactly? Oh, her name is, um... Winter. Winter. Winter, huh? Yeah, just curious. Alright. Yang was off now. So far as had the perfect I idea. An idea that would make Ruby... I mean, Yang... No, Weiss to... He's going to be shocked for the rest of her life.